it's Becca. I'm the marketing director here at Blogettes, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys about Lead Pages. Lead Pages is a website slash software that we use to create um, landing pages for products that we sell um, or that we really want people to act on. So it's a great way to capture a lead or to help sell a product. And uh, the reason we use it is because our website was built in a way that it looks um, beautiful, but some pages are just really hard to customize. And so with lead pages, it's totally customizable, totally buildable, and I think you guys will really love it. So let's get started. All right, so this is what the home page, home page of leadpages.net looks like, and I'm going to log into my account in the top right-hand corner. Okay, so this is what our dashboard looks like with all of our lead pages. We use it to sell our downloadables, our workshops, all of our webinars, so you can see we have a huge variety of pages in here. Um, but today I'm actually going to show you guys um, a behind the scenes look at our Nashville workshop landing page. So I'm going to hit the edit button right here. So this is what the editing part of our Nashville branding workshop lead page looks like. We have a tons of different components, um, lots of pictures, lots of text. And we actually, as you can see up top, we have two menus here. One that only shows on desktop and one that only shows on mobile. Um, just so that the formatting looked a little bit better. And over on the left is where you'll see your, pan your panel of widgets where you can add headlines, text, buttons, countdowns. So these are all like broken. So like this is a picture, this is a headline, um, this is a button. So there's tons of different things that you can do and play around with. You can add HTML code, which is this thing right here that ends up being our um, uh, embedded Google Maps. And um, so there's tons of different things you can play around with. And then the layout feature of it is going to show you each component like breakdown. So this is the menu at the top, this is the menu copy, the banner header. Um, so you can change things within here um, by adding rows and section styles. And then if you want to change the whole style of the page, we have our favicon uploaded. And you, if you don't have a favicon for your site, you can just upload your icon to a website just by typing in favicon generator and it'll um, produce a favicon for you. And then you can pick your fonts, your background colors, so it's very customizable. And then each page also has its own SEO tracking and like Facebook and analytics within the tracking feature on the left. So that's um, a kind of an overview of the features that lead pages have. So my first tip when creating a lead page is to draw it out. Uh, I am the marketing side of things, but I work with our creative director, Amy, and so it really helps her if I kind of have a vision of what I want the page to look like, so she knows what it it looks like from her or from my perspective. And so I just do a combination of, of imagery, of text boxes, of buttons. I try to give her an idea of how long I want the page to be and like how many photos are going to be on it so that she can kind of build a template for me and then I can go in and customize it. My second tip once you have the template for the page built is to first start with the copy and then enter in the graphics because if you don't know what you want to say and you don't know what you're going to sell, that's really, it's going to make it really hard for your graphics or your photography team to visualize what you're selling or visualize what you want them to depict. So that can mean either using icons um, or a combination of photos with graphics. So first, my first thing I like to do is to write like the description for the page, to write you know every headline, every um, catchy question, every breakdown with the bullet points. I just try to like put out as much information so that they can know as much as possible. Um, and I found that that really helps them when creating imagery so that we don't have to go back and say, oh no, I forgot to include that I want to um, even just mention the address of the venue. So um, that's a really big pointer when working on lead pages. My third tip when working with lead pages is to count your CTAs. And CTAs stand for call to actions. Uh, on longer lead pages like this one here, the Nashville Branding Workshop, it, like you can scroll for a while. And you wanna make sure that there are plenty of options for the person who lands on this page to do what you want them to do. And for us, that's to buy the workshop. So right here, we have a button. And right beneath it, we have a secondary option if they wanna pay in installments. If you scroll down a little bit further, we have three other buttons right here for them to buy individual days. If you scroll down a little bit farther, it's gonna give them a bit more information and at the bottom, the final thing is uh, another button with a call to action. So 
as you can see, we had one, two, three, four, five, six call to actions on this one page. And if you have even more information on your page, more pictures, I would recommend even putting in more buttons and more places for them to sign up. But if you have a very simple lead page that doesn't even have a scroll, then one will be just fine. Tip number four, make it easy. This goes along with having as many call to actions as you know you really want, but you want to provide as much information for the consumer as possible. So for this Nashville three-day branding workshop, I tell them the date, I tell them the price, I give them a description of what it's like, I give them a video of what it's like. So depending on what kind of learner they are or what kind of consumer they are, we have content for them. We also give a breakdown of what they can expect to learn at each day. We give them um, the location of the venue, the the um, expectations of what they can expect to get. We give them a map of where it is on, you know, on a map, on Google Maps. Um, so basically the idea is to provide them as much information as possible so that there's no confusion, they know exactly what to expect from you. And we found that by doing this, it, it um, makes the customers a bit happier because they know exactly what to expect when they come to our workshop. And we even have gone so far as to include um, information about our sponsors so we have um, right now we only have our venue up um, but then we also have a space so if they work with it if someone who lives on this page wants to work with us they can they know exactly how to get a hold of us so um, it's just like a great way to uh, have the consumer get to know your brand and or exactly what you're selling and my final tip for lead pages is to get a lead if you're gonna get anything so on this page, um, if you scroll down to the bottom, I have this big section of just HTML, and this is actually linked to a lead box, which I also built through leadpages.net, so that when someone lands on this page, within 10 seconds, something is gonna pop up saying, are you interested in attending a workshop? Give us your email and your name, and we'll send you more information. And so that way, we have a qualified lead for someone who is interested in our product, and we can then retarget them through emails, rather than just like, hoping that they come back to our page again. We have like an immediate way to address them. We could have a sales call with them. We could, it's just like a great way for us to reach someone who is hopefully qualified for us. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you guys love lead pages as much as we do here at Blogettes. If you could give this video a thumbs up, that'd be awesome. And be sure to subscribe. Have a great day.